trying to stab me. I want to clear the path of the knife. Make sure I insert this here. Keep this arm checked so that knife can't come back at me. Stab down with the knife. If he makes this block, I want to pull this down. With another angle. He tries to stab me. I want to step out of the path of the knife. Insert this here. Check this arm so that knife can't come back at me. Stab downward. If he makes this block, pull down. Make this ball attack. This technique of holding the knife when I'm hiding, when he comes at me, what I want to do is move out and circle like this. Once it's here, I want to take this tip, face it towards Sam so that he sees present and immediate danger. But this hand stays here. The reason it has to stay here is he can easily fold his arm and elbow me. So, when he comes in, I want to do this and check the arm. This prevents that knife from coming back towards me. On top of that, also checks an elbow, okay? This, once I circle, comes right into a stabbing position. As my body goes towards him, he has to deal with this. When this happens, I apply my body weight, pulling everything down and keeping it locked. From here, if I shoot the arm up with the blade, he has nowhere to go. His arms trapped, his weapon out to the side, I get the inner advantage. So he goes here, check, sh shoot, make the block, take the back, pull everything down, and then shoot the arm anywhere I want to go. Would you like a shake? Okay, you get the point. Okay.